Hello everybody, Heath Vlogger Guy here. It has finally arrived. It is December 24th. It is the night before Christmas. And all the kids should be in bed at this time, or at least most of them. Also, if this is your first time to this channel, why don't you help me out and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that little bell, and that will notify you anytime I put out any new content. If you've been liking these Christmas stories, give me a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share, feel free to share these videos. And as I promised, I saved the best Christmas story for last. It is the night before Christmas, and I am going to read the night before Christmas. So, without further ado, shall we get started with the night before Christmas. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. Well, Ma in a kerchief, and I am a cat. Had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away at the to the window, I flew like a flash. I tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, all lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, their courses they flew, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now dance, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away. Dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that blew, the wind her cane flew. When they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house trot, the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then with a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drow little smile was drawn up like a bow, and his beard on his chin was as white as snow.
the stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled the stockings and turned with a jerk. He laid a finger aside of his nose and gave a nod and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and gave his team to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And there you go. It was the night before Christmas, as we are now. This is the night before Christmas. Tomorrow morning, Santa will have brought presents to children all over the world. Including mine, who are working on going to sleep right now. So I thank you to all you who listened to my Christmas stories throughout this entire month. It was quite pleasant. Enjoy doing it every night. And then once again next year, I'll try and do it again. So until we see each other again, have you all... Good night and Merry Christmas.